Good morning everyone. Welcome to Primrose Hill. It's uh, very early, it's half past five in the morning. And we're shooting here a holy grail night to day time lapse, which should be of a beautiful sunrise that's gonna be rising just right from the cheese grater. I'm here with Adam, you might know Adam, Adam Butler Photography on Instagram, check him out. It's ridiculously cold, it's windy. I woke up at half past three, got to Adam's at half past four, we got here at five o'clock but the weather forecast was good so this should end up being a brilliant time lapse let's hope so let's do this let's go through the camera setup uh, we're shooting with the Nikon Z6 with the 105 millimeter 1.4 lens but we're starting at f2 for increased sharpness uh, I've got the Nissi variable 1.5 to 5 stops ND in front of the camera we're obviously starting with the lowest uh, ND being 1.5 shutter is set to 5 seconds ISO is 125 and everything is being driven by the external intervalometer into the camera so after the, every shot get taken I see a preview what the composition and sort of the lighting looks like and we're gonna be ramping everything by hand every five to ten minutes by a third of a stop um, until the Sun will be up and it will be an f16 five stops of ND and the lowest possible ISO but we're trying to get the long exposure for as long as we can at least that's the plan so it started getting much brighter and I started ramping the settings uh, I think it's gonna be a beautiful sunrise the clouds all gone to the horizon so at 105 millimeter they should be traveling right above the skyline so that should make a good time-lapse I believe Things are going well so far. The clouds are uh, going lower behind the skyline. Uh, well, I think it's just in time for the sun to rise, which will happen in about half an hour still. And as it's only 20 minutes to sunrise, this area starts now to get more and more busy. Okay, it's about sunrise time and um, the sun is first rising from behind the skyline, behind 22 Bishop's Gate, and it's going to show up to the right of the towers. Current settings are f16, full five stops of uh, ND, and I'm at two second um, exposure still. I saw 100, obviously, and from now on it's just going to get faster and faster. But I will try to keep it at about minus two thirds of a stop for the duration of the sun rising because it's gonna be really bright and I want the sun to not be overexposed and not too big of a bowl, but just kind of a small one. So yeah, let's see how it goes. What an absolutely stunning of a sunrise it was today. Totally worth the frozen hands. My fingers are literally so cold. But the settings that the camera sort of ends up now at seem to be uh, one fourth of a second shutter. And I'm, I feel like I might be slightly overexposing the sun, but I think it's still not as bad to be able to bring, out, bring down with the highlights or the exposure so that the sun remains a ball going out. But it all worked out great. Even some clouds showed up uh, just above the skyline that I'm capturing right in my composition so overall oh, perfect sunrise absolutely smashing so it seems like we have calculated it perfectly as at 8.30 the sun will potentially literally leave the frame uh, at 105 mil so yes perfection exactly as planned not really but yeah seems seems like it worked out <laughs> Oh yes, and I haven't mentioned, this is actually the first time that I'm shooting with the battery pack under my Z6. So, as now the first battery completely dried out, the camera literally just switched to the second battery. Because one battery, even with long exposures, seems to last about four hours. Uh, because I had the filter in front, I was doing the longer exposures more often and for longer until 
the sand started rising. Uh, so this first battery on full charge lasted me for three hours and just now it switched to the other battery. But for what the battery pack does, it's just perfect for them longer day to night time lapses or night to day time lapses. And now the moment we've all been waiting for, the final time lapse. So I would like to thank you first for watching the video all the way here till the end. And as a reward, you get to see the epic night to day sunrise time lapse from Primrose Hill. to see more videos like this please hit the like button comment and subscribe for future videos from me i'm michael london viewpoints on instagram and i'll see you guys later